hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to make a program to search items in a list box so uh, for example we have a list box and we uh, list box contains uh, a list and we want to search and highlight those uh, item which we want to search if we enter something in a search text box and we hit search button so just follow the vi video and you will be able to uh, see what I'm talking about so for this application we need a list box so I will go to my toolbox and I will drag and drop a list box by the way I have a blank project made so first of all make this project and now I will drag and drop a list box here yeah and I will resize it okay and then I will uh, go down and I want a text box so that so that it can take the word which we want to search and we want a button to search the item okay so we have list box we have text box we have button we can take a label also to show how many items or the number of items searched so we can drag and drop a list box here so I have list box text box button and label I rename this uh, text box so I select this and I will go to the properties and I rename this text box as text search okay and I want to rename this button also so I will select this button button search and I will change the text also for this button so search okay and I can change this label uh, text also label text may be status and label status okay so we are done with the naming and changing the properties now first of all we want to have some list so that we can search in the list so select this um, list box I have some list of the countries so I have the list of all the countries in the text format you can easily search the list of countries online this is just for the demonstration so I will select this list of countries and copy these and I will go to my project once again I will select this list box first and go to the properties and find where this item properties is there so select this item properties and click this small button and I will paste my list here so what this will do is first I click OK and you can see the list here so this is this just for demonstration you can take the list from the database you can make your own list also so any list can be uh, used okay so now I have the list of the countries now what I will do is I will click this search button and double click it and first in this click event I will write list box one dot 
selected items dot clear so first of all if any item is selected I will clear the selected items for the next search right and then I will make a for loop so let me make a for loop I will just make it little bit bigger so you can see easily okay so I will make a for loop here for and in the for loop I declare int my list box name list box one dot so I will just copy this from here and then I will write dot items dot count okay so this is showing error because I have to declare int i is equal to list box item dot count minus one so our list box start from the last a value or a last count of the list so whatever number of uh, a list it contains for example we have 10 item in our list so it will start from 10th item and we will go backwards so i is greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus okay so we are going from bottom to top in this list and now here in this for loop we will make a if statement so if bracket and bracket closed so this is our if statement and in this if statement we will once again copy our list box name dot items and because we are searching each and every item so we will write items and inside the square box write i which is this i dot to string dot to lower dot contains and in this contains bracket we will pass our text box name so the word we are searching for is in the text box right so I will go to my form go select my text box copy the name of my text box which is te text search go to the code once again and in here in contains bracket I will paste it here dot text dot to lower so why we are giving this to lower because we want to search uh, for the word independent of its case right so this to lower will uh, convert every word into a lower case and then it will uh, search for it so whether your word which you are searching for it is in uppercase or lowercase it will convert the list into lowercase also and your the word you are searching for uh, in the lowercase also so you can search regardless of the case uppercase or lowercase you can search any word right so if list box dot item array i dot to string dot to lower 
dot contains this word in the text box so text box dot text dot to lower then what we do is we will select that item so I will copy the list box name once again dot set selected and bracket and bracket closed and first argument is I which is our iterator and second argument is a boolean statement which is true so what this will do is if the word in the list matches the word in the search text box then that word in the list box will be set selected okay and we know that this word is in the list now what remains is we need to uh, count the number of word found or number of search item found so we can do after this for loop we can write the name of our label so label status this was the label which is used for status dot text is equal to the list box so just once again copy the list box dot selected items dot count dot to string so this and give it a bracket plus we can give a small string also so we can say space items found okay so whatever the number of item which it sees that list box in the list box uh, this much amount of uh, items are selected it will come this and transfer into the label so this is the code full code I will make it smaller so you can just see in at once and you can copy this code if you want pause the video and copy the code and now we can run the programs and see whether it's working or not so run the code and we have this program and you see here is the status and we want to search for example for Australia okay so I will write you see I have uh, taken the first letter small but in our list it's capital so I want to see if it works regardless of the case I will click search and it's not found maybe the spelling mistake yeah Australia okay so it's found here right so it's searching regardless of the case so you may enter capital A and at last also capital A and once again I will select some other and I will say search and it will search for the same word Australia regardless of this uh, case of the word and it says one item found and suppose this Australia is uh, present in our list two or three times so let let's make it like that so I have in my list so I will select my list and I will go to the item collection and let's see I will copy this Australia I will paste it above here also so this is two time with smaller case and I will paste this Australia below here also with last letter 
uppercase okay so we have three australia in our list one two and three where is it three okay and let's see it founds all three words or not click ok run the code and i will enter australia in my search text box and i will click search and no it doesn't work like this so it only selects only one australia and we need to see three australia selected because we have three uh, items which uh, which has same name australia but it's finding only one why it's finding only one we will see here so we will go to our form first select the list box here and go to the properties and search for the selection mode so here selection mode property is here selected only one so it's only selecting one item but when we make it multi simple it will select multiple item at a time so just change the selection mode property to multi simple and now once again when we run our code and we will uh, write here australia and you will see all three word with the name australia are selected here so in this way you can make a simple program to search item in the list box and highlight them i hope you have enjoyed this video please keep watching this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now